Now, I made a video on this last week and I told you guys it's going to blow up, and it has. How on earth is Keir Starmer going to face Donald Trump when he wins the US presidency in November? What's he going to say to him? How can he... I mean, <laughs> I would love to be a fly on the wall if these two have a private meeting. Because you know Trump, he's, he's, he's not going to hold back. He will tell Starmer, what the hell are you playing at? Not only sending a hundred of your staff from your Labour Party to campaign on her behalf, on behalf of my opponent, Kamala Harris, but you're also funding her. Now, what I want to know is, why the hell is Keir Starmer picking a side here, and how the hell is he funding it? The Labour Party is subsidised by uh, its members and the unions, and as a government, it can spend our taxes at will, however it likes, so... You know, either way, the British public are funding the US Democratic Party's uh, candidates for the US presidency. And it's not right. I mean, Keir Starmer should be neutral. I mean, this is heavy stuff, uh, <laughs> to quote Neil from The uh, <laughs> the Young Ones. And it's, it's quite unprecedented because no other British prime minister has actively interfered in a US election like Keir Starmer has done. I'll tell you what, despite all his faults, Tony Blair had it absolutely right. He worked well with Bill Clinton and he worked well with George Bush. Now, Donald Trump is going to be on the Joe Rogan show on the uh, 25th of October, I do believe. And that's this Friday. So no doubt he's going to come out with some, you know, I mean, Donald Trump being Donald Trump. And Joe Rogan has a huge audience. This might be the most watched and listened to Joe Rogan uh, podcast ever. Now, this is a massive clangor. It's a, a whopper, a terrible decision by Keir Starmer's government. And what they've done is, well, what Keir Starmer has done, the buck stops with him. He has effectively insulted the incoming Trump administration, which has resulted in Donald Trump filing a Federal Election Commission complaint against what Trump and his team are calling the far-left Labour Party for helping the Kamala Harris campaign for, and get this, illegal foreign campaign contributions and interference in our elections. And it is, it's just that, like I said in my other video about this, it's election interference. Keir Starmer has sent employees of his Labour Party over to the US to interfere with their elections, hoping that one side in particular wins. It's wrong, it's morally wrong. And, you know, like I said, when Trump wins in November, and by God, I hope he does, and the polls are suggesting he is anyway, because Kamala Harris has dropped some serious howlers, especially uh, that interview with Fox News. I think she's seriously cooked herself there. And it's a good thing. Uh, can you imagine US and Kamala Harris? I mean, my goodness. She quite literally blamed everything that's gone wrong, and there have been a lot of things going wrong under the uh, Biden-Harris administration. And she blamed Donald Trump for everything. <laughs> a guy who, who was not even president at the time. Her speeches and everything she says are just alphabet soup. They don't make sense. She's just a, a, a cackling hyena who is seriously way in over her head and out of her depth. She really is. This is one person who has no business even thinking about becoming president of the United States. But that's just my opinion. So now, thanks to Keir Starmer's stupidity... There's going to be a federal investigation against Kamala Harris. And, you know, the Democrats, they screeched about Russian election interference, which was disproved, by the way. And here we are, 2024, and there's another nation interfering in their elections. But this time, it's real, it's happening. And it's for the Democrats. You can't make this crap up, can you? It's just, it's embarrassing for Starmer. Why are Kamala Harris's team accepting this? I don't know. Are they really that desperate? And Labour being called a far-left party by the Trump team, it's damning. It really is damning. I mean, we all knew that anyway, didn't we? They are a far-left socialist clown show who, in what, four or five months being in power, have completely turned this country upside down. And people are having a hard time defending them. They really are. And there we go. That's the latest. I'm Paz49. Thanks for watching. And until the next time, Roger Trout. Hi, I'm Paz49 off that video you just watched. And I want to thank you all for all the likes, comments and shares. But now it's time to hit that subscribe button.